Hey, what's up everybody? It's Monday, and today is the crossover edition of the cruise vlog. Just finished recording Monday Mortgage Minute for Work, which is the weekly piece I do talking about what's going on in the state of the mortgage market. Uh, as you all have seen headlines, this, the stimulus and that all that passed last week, but we also had unintended consequences happen with mortgage home forbearance. So uh, if you guys want to watch that, I'll put the link below. There is information for those of you who are looking to take mortgage forbearance for 30, 60, or 90 days. There's some important things you need to know. Watch the video below and then go from there. But other than that, Welcome to Monday. Well, one of the things I wanted to show you guys today uh, that I keep passing every single day, but I haven't thought uh, to show you yet is some of the art we have at the house that was made by Jen's sister, Stephanie. So first thing is this piece. This piece says he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings, you will find refuge. So as you can see, it's two huge wings. Uh, but, but the cool part is that on the wings, some of these feathers, they actually have really, really, really fine cuts. And this is actually music paper, which of course, those of you who know Jen know she sings. And so this is a really cool piece that her sister made her for our house. The next one is particularly cool because it has a trick to it. And it's the one that's right behind me right here. So this one, as you can see, it is a, wooded area, it's trees, and they have all these little birds on them. And if you look real close, the birds are blue. But when you turn the picture sideways, seriously, I almost dropped it. That's why I had to cut back to the photo. When you turn it sideways, it is music charts. See, look at that. Treble and bass clef, and they're actually music notes. So when it's placed upright, it's a scene of birds in a tree. And when you turn it sideways, it's music. Isn't that cool? And this one was made, I think this is the beach called La Push, which is up in Washington, which of course all of you uh, Twilight fangirls will know. But Jen's sister Stephanie made this painting too. And the exciting news I said last Friday, we tell you about this Monday is, drum roll, brrr, my mom's retiring. Grandma is finally retiring. She's worked at the preschool for 21 years and after 21 years, March was actually the month that was intended to be her retirement date. And of course, with everything happening right now, it's just been crazy trying to figure out what to do next and how to do those things next. But in the end, this was intended to be her retirement date and the church is honoring that and they're keeping her on for the rest of this week as was intended and then they're gonna let her full on retire and this is really exciting. Now, grandma and grandpa get to move on to the next phase of their life. They get to go move to the home they had purchased uh, years ago uh, out in, in Reno, and we're super excited. So part of us doing this vlog is also to commemorate the last couple months we have together living in the, ha in the house together so we can make the best of the time we have while we're still in the same place. Also today, we have Uncle Nemo coming by to show us his new car. So yeah, the timing's a little bit weird, but months and months and months ago, he ordered his new car and it finally came last week. So yeah, is the timing a little bit weird? Yes, but I'm still excited for him. And all my car loving, car nerd, gearhead, automobile fanatics, you're gonna love this. What are you guys doing? Homework. I'm just trying to come up with the writing piece and I'm trying to give her ideas. Garage homework today? Mm-hmm. And lunch? And after garage homework. What? Ow! All right, car lovers, there's the surprise. The new Corvette C8 in the house with Uncle Nemo! Yeah. Woo. Hey, that is really good looking. That is really cool, man. Those of you that haven't seen it, the Target Top. Yep, target top goes in the back. It's got its own little spot and it clamps in. Dude, man, look at that carbon fiber lip. Wow, that is really cool. I love the red interior. Holy cow, this thing is ridiculous, Chevy. 
I mean, dude, Chevy, mid-engine Corvette C8. Oh my gosh, this thing is awesome. So I wore my checkered race pants today before you even called me. Yeah. I didn't know you were coming over, but this me is neither. a fun surprise. You guys, this is the C8, the Corvette C8. It's brand new. It literally came in what day? Last week, Thursday, Friday? Saturday. Saturday, one of those days? Yeah, Saturday. It came in last week, and we're gonna go for a ride. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Dude, square so you can get your legs room. Woo! So hey, cute. that was awesome. Like, I, I was already, all these reviews I've seen about the C8, I was expecting it to be awesome, but man, that thing is way more like temperate than you would expect for a high performance car, but it has like all the same kind of like get up and ready to go and just get at it that you'd expect from a car twice, twice its cost. Man. And another cool surprise, my Aunt Wilma just sent me this family photo of Jen and the girls from years ago, and like, watch, look. Man, look how small they are. Oh, it's so cute. Thanks for the surprise, Aunt Wilma. Kate, check out this picture Aunt Wilma just sent me. Look, look how young you guys are. Hmm. Cute, huh? Hey, where's mom? Probably upstairs crying about how good my caramel is. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta show you something. Okay. Look, look what Aunt Wilma just sent me. Oh my gosh. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Hey, so am I gonna get you on camera today? Nope.